Hey guys, this is Rehan back again with another one interesting video. And in this video, I am going to show you how to get Samsung Dex feature for S7 Edge and basically any Android device. So I am going to demonstrate to you using the my S7 Edge as you guys can see here. So like first of all, I would like to tell what is uh, Samsung Dex. So Samsung Dex is nothing but uh, it's a kind of small gadget. That, that is used to convert your Android mobile Android operating system into a desktop Android operating system like this one what you guys see here okay so if you guys see here like I have connected it to the TV so we will go to how to set it up in a moment so before that I will tell you a short intro about the Samsung Dex so Samsung Dex is actually a technology that is introduced by Samsung uh, during the S8 launch as you guys if you are a fan of Samsung you guys could have came to know about it by now okay so uh, like uh, so using the Samsung Dex a small device uh, you can able to connect it to uh, you, you can able to connect it to the uh, you can be connected to your TV or a basically any monitor and and you can do uh, I mean like and you can do multitasking task okay like a desktop like a Windows PC okay so like this one <laughs> my Windows PC so you can do multitasking like this and using the Samsung Dex okay so but the but the operating system is still Android okay uh, but the main problem in uh, Samsung Dex is it will be available only for S8 so unfortunately so if you guys uh, have budget you can buy s8 it is a really gorgeous device and it has lots of tons of new features so if you i have also listed those feature in a separate video and i have given in the link in the description below if you guys wanted to know the s8 features you guys can check it out in there okay so coming back to the video so this is the, that's the short intro about the samsung dex so like uh, uh, this is the last year flagship device my s7 edge so as you guys know i am making a lot of uh, videos on the samsung s7 edge okay so we will uh, so i'll show you how to uh, make your samsung s7 edge uh, to to have a feature like samsung dex okay so i have connected my s7 edge to my tv through the wireless HDMI device. So the wireless HDMI device which I use is this uh, screen beam mini 2 as you guys can see and I have connected to my HDMI cable. You guys focus. On the flash for you guys. See as you guys can able to see I have connected to the HDMI and it is also connected to the power supply here. Okay so this is the setup of my how to connect the uh, your uh, s7h to the to any tv basically that is having hdmi port i have also created a separate video on that if you guys um, want to know how to connect your uh, any android device to tv you guys can check it out okay to the video we will see how to connect uh, our s7h to the to, to a tv and we will get the uh, samsung dex like experience so we will see how to do that so these are the list of devices that you need the first one is your bluetooth capable wireless keyboard and mouse uh, and you need a otg connector and this is the bluetooth adapter for this uh, keyboard and mouse okay and the next thing what you need to need is the andromium app i have given the link in the description below so like you just need to open the app and uh, and you need to give all the permissions okay i'll be showing you in the in, in the upcoming video how to set up the andromium then one then after that uh, what we need is this uh, screen beam mini 2 in case if you are not having the smart tv that has the capability of uh, mirroring your screen okay mirroring your android device uh, so if you don't have that uh, smart tv feature you can use this uh, screen beam mini 2 i really recommend this there is also one more device uh, that is released by micro max that uh, will convert any tv to a smart tv i have also given uh, about that uh, gadget in the link in the description below okay so so you using the screen beam mini 2 i have connected my s7 edge to my tv okay so as you guys can see now uh, now using my mouse and keyboard i will operate and i'll show you guys you guys can see my mouse moves okay so it moves here also okay now we will do some uh, uh, some operations and we will see the performance how it performs 
do all the operations uh, using my keyboard and mouse only okay so you yeah, so you guys don't think that i am using any other device okay so i i show i i have showed you the my setup now we will see how it performs okay now we will open the browser first okay so actually this uh, andromium has its own list of apps okay that will work in a multi window this uh, app is actually still in beta stage so i hope this the developers uh, uh, will create a lot of multi window feature so after this i am actually typing from the keyboard wow it works youtube.com first we will test it by browser as you guys can see the loading speed is good and we will search for my name actually the performance is little less comparing to the samsung text but it is a native one but this one is not native that is the thing so we will run a video and see how it works actually the performance is very uh, slow actually it is okay i mean like it is uh, playable but uh, still it is very slow so this is the new video which i created so as you guys can see the website is also is having desktop kind of appearance desktop website not a mobile website so we'll play this video make it to full screen and see we will check whether that full screen is working or not is a little bit slow oh but the video plays very well you can also pass it also wow that's nice so pass the video and you can also subscribe to my channel also you can just we'll just sign in and try the sign in and everything is working i hope the developers will develop this really this is actually a really useful feature in so the browser actually works you can also do other website as well okay and uh, we'll try the other app okay we'll try the photo viewer okay photo viewer actually uh, what i'm what, like this is actually not uh, perfect uh, so i will show you another way to view the photos there is this app called as file explorer as you guys can see it's not clear but yeah, this is the file explorer as you guys could have guessed it by seeing the icon so just open this and see it's like a explorer windows explorer and what you need to do we'll i'll open you some images and i'll show you uh, we'll go to home home is nothing but the sd card so i'll show you some images which i have downloaded uh, where is it where is the download yeah it's here so we will open here and see these are the list of uh, things which i have downloaded images so this is a better way of opening this image view you can open images uh, you can also open videos as well i already tried it we will open one video soon i just wanted to show you you just need to double click it here and that's it it opens cool right can also resize the window you can run it in background or anything you can i think we can also open okay you can't open multiple images no for only one images at a time that is not good though 
okay we will close this image and now we will try to open it okay you can open only one image at a time which is okay fine and still the app is in the beta stage c developers i have almost uh, made this app like a samsung text i hope you guys also can do it now we will run a video and we will see how it works okay we'll we'll go and show you one of my video which i have created wow it's like a video player we'll try multitasking oh it comes friend after some time as you guys can see the actually the sound is coming from my tv okay <laughs> wow okay let it run we we'll just see the how it performs the background we'll open mind sweeper game we we'll play some mind sweeper game while well, the video is getting played wow my luck Oh okay. And close the game. Yeah, I know. Just go off. Okay, so actually there is some issue here like whenever I lose this game doesn't leaves me alone. I know I lose but I don't know why this alert is coming. Okay. So there is some bug is there. So in this app, I hope it will be perfect soon. There is also a calculator. You can use your keyboard to type. Actually, here now I'm typing from my keyboard. You guys could hear the sound. As I'll show you. Sounds nice, right? Cool. <laughs> okay, you guys can also. type on screen as well that's cool then we will see what is this andromium office there is this uh, start icon like is there so it has some supported apps but the supported apps doesn't open in multiple multi window it actually opens in a separate sc screen only i tried it you guys can see it it won't open in a separate window and this still you lose also comes uh, it it will be there Uh, till you close the launcher so that this is actually a bug in this app so if you want to close it you just need to press uh, this minimize button so we press minimize if you guys can okay it is not minimized cool and then what you need to do is and these are some of the sentino apps so you also need to do download the sentino apps as well Uh, like one, not only the sentino os you, oh, you have you also have to download the sentino apps as well okay then uh, what else it has is you can uh, you can also uh, go open the wifi settings from here and go to back can you open your wifi settings and uh, these are the list of notifications you also need to provide the notification for this as you guys can see the mouse and everything is connected so these are the notifications from my app guys have doubt i'll show you as you guys can see the news everything uh, all these notifications comes here even the es app manager notification also came that's cool right guys can i close the notification by tapping here i hope they will add some animation here and this is the battery percentage you click on it it will go to your battery settings and try clicking on it okay it is taking some time to load okay fine forget it it is not opening so i it actually opened last time i don't know why it's not opening now okay fine uh, so these are the things you can do with uh, 
no, the Andromium OS. I hope in future the developers will add more apps with more multitasking. Okay, there is also one more app which I would like to show you that has some of uh, uh, some of some extra features. Uh, so, like that app name is this Lenient. Uh, like uh, the app name is I have just now installed that app. I will also show that. So this is the Lena desktop. So this is the other app. So as you guys can see, this is the Lena desktop. This is also having the Android like feel like look like uh, not android this is actually having a uh, ios mac like look so you guys so this is also having some good cool features so these are the so this will show the list of apps but uh, trust me it won't open in multi window it only opens in as a separate window only it also has a categories as well it is not opening and close this okay it got crashed okay it won't open that much so this still the app is buggy i hope the developers make it perfect so that's all guys that's the review of how you can convert your any android device and your s7 edge to have the samsung dex feature and uh, unfortunately S7H is not going to get the Samsung DeX feature because it is not going to have the USB type C. Okay. So guys, don't worry. Uh, so you can try this app. I hope the developers make it perfect. So you can enjoy the DeX, uh, DeX like feature in our Android phones in future. So that's all guys. So hope you like this video. And if you guys like this video, just leave a thumbs up. Uh, and if you guys have any queries on how to set it up i am making another one video and i will and i will also link that in the description below you guys can open the you guys can open that video and you guys can see how to set up that andromium app okay okay guys uh, so i hope you like this video thumbs up if you like it subs if you wanted to see more more of these videos and stay subscribed to my channel for more videos see you guys in the next video bye bye yeah